Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On today's video I have this VW Touran. This is a 2008 model and um, I'm gonna show you the location of the fuses. Um, I will take um, a couple of pictures of uh, the fuse lists as well and put them up so if you need to look up for fuse you can search on the video um, and if you can obviously uh, find the fuse that you need then that's fair enough but if you just ask me what fuse is for what then I won't really know that because I make normally I make videos showing you the location of the fuses for many vehicles so um, for me to memorize all the fuses it'll be a bit difficult okay so the manual says there are two fuse boxes in this uh, VW Touran uh, one which is sitting uh, below this compartment here now in this uh, picture they're showing you a left hand drive but this is a right hand drive so it will be below this panel on this side and then there's another box uh, in the engine bay so engine compartment and uh, it says on the left of the dash panel but it's in this car is on the right um, so I would always uh, advise to follow the the manual if you are if you have your manual um, for the tips and the warnings that they give you so also they show you the colors colors of the the fuses that you may find and the amp rating light brown is a 5 amps brown is 7.5 amps and uh, so on here red blue yellow white green orange you can see the amps there um and then it says using unsuitable or uh, repaired fuses can cause a fire injury and accidents fuses should never be repaired fuses should never be replaced with a fuse with a higher rating so obviously if you re if you change a 10 amp fuse with a 40 amp fuse then um, that 40 amp fuse may be able to resist whatever current is extra current is going on there but uh, if if the wiring that's causing the issue or the device that's causing the issue um, is is sending that problem then you the particular device can catch a fire so that's what they mean um, so just follow the instructions accordingly and then this will be the fuses inside of the car i will put a picture of this and we'll have a look at its location and then we have the allocations for the fuses as well so towing brackets abs anti-theft alarm you can see the fuse number and the amperage there also some things like a towing bracket uh, may have a few fuses related to it and another thing is you may not actually find all the fuses in the box and that's just because uh, not all the those features might be available to your car so then we have electric windows blower and so on in there and like I said I'll put a picture of this so you can uh, pause and check for the fuse that you're looking for and these are the fuses in the engine compartment and this is these are the fuses that you get ABS left turn signal right turn signal brake light electric windows horn radio left headlight right headlight windscreen wipers telephone supplementary heating system and uh, that's it really you don't really get millions of fuses so so now let's go and have a look at the physical boxes and uh, a little bit of uh, how they are numbered Okay. <sighs> 
so having looked at the manual and the fuses and allocations we can now uh, physically have a look at the actual fuse boxes so here i have this is a right hand drive um toran <clears throat> so um down here if you pull this cover out and you actually pull it out you will actually find uh, the fuse puller as well just there so that little key there it's for uh, taking fuses out so i mean you don't have to obviously take the fuses out unless you know which one you're going to change so here's where the fuses are now as you may be able to see there's lots of empty slots and again that doesn't mean these fuses are, fuses are missing it just means that this car perhaps doesn't have those um, features such as electric seats or heated seats or any of those things sunroof or whatever and um, and that's why you won't actually see those now if you also if you look really closely you can actually see the numbers of the fuses so i think it's a little bit difficult to see but for example up here i can see 53 54 55 56 and so on uh, here i can see what 49 49 so that 49 50 51 52 and so on and these are these fuses here are smaller than those ones so these are the micro fuses and uh, so from looking at this here if you look at this here this is not exactly the representation of that it's sort of this part that on the left here it's on the right here and again i can just about see actually fuse number nine here nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 so it actually starts with number one down here so one two three four five six seven eight and uh, in this chart it actually is one to eight are at the top and on the left <laughs> so uh, a little bit confusing but uh, but there we are this is why I'm making the video and hopefully it will help you decipher the fuse that you may be looking for um, so having established that now I'm going to move on to the ones in the engine bay so if we pull this lever here that will pop the bonnet and we'll go and have a look at the engine bay fuses So you need to press on that in order to lift this bonnet. Right, now on the right hand side here, there's this box. And this is the box we want to um, open. So I think you have to slide this forwards and then take that out. And voila, that's where the fuses are. There's even a relay there. I don't know what the relay is for because the manual doesn't tell me so at least we know how to access the fuses and um, these are also numbered you can just about see again a little bit bigger actually it says fuse 21 22 23 you can just about see that and 24 for that there should be well not there should be but that's like a relay slot there but there's no relay so again this car probably doesn't need that one then you have fuse number it says there 27 28 
28, 29, 30, and so on. You have fuse number one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, so that's really, that's pretty much it really. You also have some fuses here, by the way. That's a 200 uh, amp fuse, 80, 50, 80. Uh, these usually don't blow, so they're quite major fuses. If they blow, then uh, I mean, yeah, there might be a short with the starter or a problem with a, something large, something big, like a, it could be, <coughs> it could even be the, the um, alternator, something like that. So, there you are. Um, that's the location of the fuses for this uh, VW Touran. So having said that, and having done that, um, if you need to look up a fuse, just stop the video where I show you the list and uh, look for the video for the fuse that you need. And um, just remember that all the cars will be different. So don't expect that this model will be exactly as yours. So if you have all the other all features, you may have different allocations. That's just something to remember. Uh, but it gives you, I hope the video gives you an idea of where to find the fuses. Um, and again, well, having said that, I hope the video helps. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. So thank you for watching.